In this video we will be achieving vertex form by completing the square. Our first step will be to group our x terms inside of parentheses, factoring out our coefficient of our x squared, factoring out our a term, and group the constant outside the parentheses. So step one, y equals factoring out two and grouping our x terms inside. So 2x squared divided by that 2 is x squared, minus 20 divided by 2, that's 10x. Grouping our constant term outside. So we've gathered our x terms inside, factoring out our a in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We factored out our a, that's the coefficient of x squared, and we've left the constant outside. Step 2, we're coming with our box number y equals 2 open parentheses x squared minus 10x plus some quantity I'm calling it box plus 14 well we added 2 times the box inside we need to subtract 2 times the box outside alright just for your notes if, if I were you I'd go ahead and write my box number in now but I'm coming down just to show what's specifically going into my box Well, this box number, the box, is going to be half of the coefficient of my x. I'm calling that my b in this case. Half of b quantity squared. So, consider, what is half of minus 10? It's minus 5. Minus 5 squared is a 25. That's what goes in the box inside and outside. All right. Step 3 is factoring. That is, we're going to write this trinomial, this three-term trinomial, as a binomial squared. So two stays the same. Two stays the same. And outside, I'm going to just simplify this. This is 14 minus 50, and 14 minus 50, I believe, to be minus 36. Just simplified this here. Now, I'm writing this trinomial as one binomial quantity squared. What's going to go in here? Well, it's the square root of the first term first, x. It's the square root of the last term last, 5. And this operator goes in the middle, minus 5. It's x minus 5 quantity squared. Said another way, it's the square root of the first term first, and it's half of this b term second, minus 5. This binomial squared is equal to this trinomial. We have attained our vertex form. Now we can identify our vertex. That is the opposite of this, 5, exactly this, minus 36. These are directions for a translation. This is 5 units to the right and 36 units down. And we have our A value. A is 2. This tells us that it will be a vertical stretch from our parent function. Our A value is greater than 1. And it will open upward. Since A is positive, the vertex will be a minimum value because when our graph is opening up, the vertex is a low Y value. Right. Next. Remember to pause the video between problems to try on your own. y equals x squared plus 12x plus 5. Pause the video now and try this on your own. Alright, step 1. We will group our x terms inside of parentheses, put the constant outside. y equals. In this case, a is 1, so there's nothing to factor out here. You can think about there being a 1, but there's nothing to factor out of note, of consequence. Plus 12x. Plus 5 on the outside. So we've grouped our x terms, our variables inside the parentheses, put our constant outside. Since my coefficient here was a 1, I didn't have to factor anything out x squared and 12x remained exactly the same. 
Step two, we're adding in our box number x squared plus 12x plus box. Whatever we add inside, we subtract on the outside. I call this a convenient zero. Adding some number and subtracting some number, well, these things would combine to be zero. So there is no difference in value between this statement and this statement. It just looks different. Much like multiplying by some value to get a common denominator, multiplying by 4 over 4 or 5 over 5, multiplying by 1 changes no value. Here, adding some number and subtracting some number is a net of zero. We've just changed the way it looked. We didn't change any values. All right, what goes in the box? Well, the box is equal to 1 half of B quantity squared. And B in this case is this plus 12. Half of plus 12 is 6. 6 squared is 36. So Y equals X squared plus 12X plus 36. Again, I'm leaving the, if I were doing this on my paper, I would have written the 36 directly in there. I'm just showing we have our box and we filled in the box. The box in this case is 36. That is 1 half of 12, which is 6, squared. Half of 12 is 6, squared is 36. All right. Step 3. y equals. We're going to write this as 1 parenthesis squared. The square of the first term goes first. Half of this goes second. Half of plus 12 is a plus 6. Notice that also happens to be the square root of that one. The square root of 36 is 6. Whatever this operator is, it's going to be here in the middle of our binomial squared. 35 minus 5 minus 36 is a minus 31. So our vertex is minus 6 comma 31 negative 31 pardon me um, that's going to be a minimum a min because our value of a is 1 that's positive and that will neither be a vertical stretch nor a vertical shrink this will be the same width as our parent parabola y equals x squared. Number three, y equals negative three x squared plus thirty x plus ten. Pause the video right now. Try this problem on your own. Step one, we will collect our x term in a parentheses, our x terms in a parentheses, factoring out our coefficient here. So negative 3, open parentheses, x squared. Well, consider what 30 divided negative 3 is. Well, that's minus 10. Still have our x plus 10 outside. Negative 3 times negative 30 is negative 3 times negative 10 is a positive 30. Negative 3 times x squared is a negative 3x squared. We have changed no values. We have simply factored a negative 3 out of both of these terms and rewritten. Consider our distributive property getting from here to here. All right. Step 2. Add in our box number. Y equals negative 3, open parentheses, x squared minus 10x. Always plus box inside. Outside, plus 10 minus, well this time it's negative 3 times box, negative 3 times box. In this case it's minus a negative, and minus a negative becomes plus. Just consider that briefly. One more time, we added box inside, but really it was negative 3 times box, so we subtracted that on the outside, minus a negative. All right, what is our box? Our box is one half of our b squared, where b is the coefficient of the x term inside the parentheses. So box is equal to one half of minus 10 squared. 
Half of minus 10 is a minus 5. Minus 5 squared is a plus 25. It's always plus box. 25 on the outside. All right. Step 3. y equals negative 3 remains the same it's going to be 1 parentheses squared this is a trinomial we're writing it as a binomial squared the square root of the first term comes first the square root of x squared is x half of this term half of minus 10 is minus 5 again the square root of 25 would be 5 10 minus a negative 3 times 25 that is the same as 75 minus a negative 75 is like plus 75. This is 10 plus 75. It's plus 85. You can just use your calculator to evaluate this. Remember, minus a negative is like plus. It's 10 plus 75. All right, so our vertex is the opposite of this one. Inside, we think inverse. Exactly that one. Our a, in this case, is negative 3. All right, since A is negative, that indicates to us that the parabola is opening downward. And its absolute value greater than 1, it's going to be a stretch. It's a vertical stretch. And it opens downward. It's a reflection about the x-axis. reflection and we know since it's opening downwards this vertex is a maximum the vertex is on top all right that concludes this video